Tonight, former President Trump facing another potential legal battle. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg asking for a gag order banning Mr. Trump from commenting on witnesses, prosecutors, or jurors to protect the integrity of the upcoming trial where he's accused of falsifying business records to cover up hush money payments to a porn star. The Republican frontrunner has slammed the case as a political effort by a Democratic DA to derail his presidential campaign. All of it as Nikki Haley ramps up her attacks on Mr. Trump. Donald Trump is now turning the Republican Party into his own playpen. Haley in Michigan today after a landslide defeat in her home state, South Carolina. And now a key conservative group created by the billionaire Koch brothers says it will stop donating to the Haley campaign writing, we don't believe any outside group can make a material difference to widen her path to victory. The former president, now having won the first four contests by wide margins, is looking ahead to the general election. We're going to look at Joe Biden, and we're going to look him right in the eye. He's destroying our country, and we're going to say, Joe, you're fired. Tomorrow's primary here in Michigan is high stakes, not just for Haley, but for President Biden, who's facing fierce backlash over the Israel-Hamas war. Voters from Michigan's huge Arab-American population have demanded the president support a ceasefire. Some now plan to vote uncommitted in protest. My direct message to President Biden is that you cannot continue to use my American tax dollars to um, aid and abet in an ongoing genocide of my people. Late today, President Biden said he hopes for a deal to release the hostages held by Hamas soon. And my hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. Governor Gretchen Whitmer is a national co-chair of Biden's campaign. What if uncommitted has a strong showing in this primary? I think there will be a sizable number of votes for uncommitted. I think that it is um, every person's right to make their statement about what's important to them. Whitmer now under pressure to deliver the state for President Biden, and she brushes off voter concerns about his age, saying the president could serve until he's 86. He's got an incredible amount of accomplishments done, and I have very, every confidence in his ability to serve out a full second term. Should alarm bells be going off for the Biden campaign in Michigan? Well, I think Michigan's the kind of state you can never take for granted. What do you say to those people within the Democratic Party who would like a candidate, a younger candidate such as yourself, to replace President Biden? I would say the train's out of the station. Get on board. And Gabe, immigration has become a major campaign issue. And now we've learned both President Biden and former President Trump will be going to the border. Yes, Lester, the White House announced today that President Biden will visit the southern border on Thursday. Earlier, former President Trump had said he'd be at the border on Thursday. So it's expected to be quite the split screen, Lester. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.